Hi everyone, I wanted to give you some quick uh, tips on how to uh, solve the 50 Vild mystery. So we do know a few things. We know that the, th the theft was on July 28th and that it was on Humphrey Street. And uh, like we've seen, you can actually um, see all the tables that are in there. When, when you look at the, um, the results, you'll see the that there are these list of tables and some of them you'll definitely want to start with like the crime scene reports you can see in the video that that helped and one of the things that you'll find helpful is using wild cards so in the crime scene reports you can select to see what's there and then um, instead of just uh, hoping that you type in uh, the street name correctly you can use the like operator and then use percent signs which is the wild card in SQL and notice that the, the wild cards are inside the quotes um, and then you can also look at things by day and month um, another thing that that will be helpful for you is you may actually um, want to select from uh, one one table and then use that as a subquery for another table. So notice that right here we're looking at the flights table on a specific day and we're just pulling one of the, um, the fields in that flights table. And we learn how the flights table is set up by using our schema command. So in here we can see that we've got flights by uh, year, month, day, hour, and minute even, and then we also have our origin ID and our destination airport ID. And then we can use that information, what our destination is on a given day, and uh, get it from the airports here as well. So in this case, we're, we'll be getting multiple results back, so we can uh, write our query in our table here, save it, and then run the query here and so now we'll see the whole list of queries run or flights on that day along with their destination airports so these sub queries as they're called will be very helpful for you uh, as you go through and look at uh, the the hints that are in all the tables one other thing that will be really helpful for you is uh, using this in, which I just did here. So when you get multiple results back from a subquery, uh, you can compare it against the IDs. And so notice that we got um, five flight IDs back, and we were able to use the, the five destination airport IDs to compare to the ID in the airport stable and get all the information on each of the uh, airports and cities that they serve. So the, uh, the in operator in your where clause will come in very handy when you have multiple results back. And you will see that because you're going to end up with multiple lists of uh, possible suspects. So you're going to get one, two, three, maybe more lists of suspects and when you get those uh, lists you're going to have to join them to see uh, to narrow down the list of suspects uh, that are in each list one other thing that might be helpful for you is using the between operator so say you know that uh, something happened in between a certain time you can give uh, between and then the low side and the high side as well so this might come in handy and when you've got your suspect lists together you're going to want to do an inner join and so in this case I've got um, multiple queries with suspects here and so I've got my first list of suspects which is defined in this query which you'll have to figure out and and then I use this as operator here to give this first query a name so this is my list of first uh, suspects then I'm going to join it to another query and I'm going to give it another name our second list of suspects 
and I'm going to do an inner join on, uh, in this case, the ID for the first suspect's results, and then the ID again for the second suspect's results. And then I, I just select the information that I want from one of these two subqueries. If I don't do this, I'll end up with the results from both subqueries getting merged together, and that's not as helpful as you might think. So that's just a quick rundown of some things that I think will definitely help you as you walk through uh, solving the mystery. And definitely, if you want to send a quick email with any specific questions, like if you're stuck at a query or stuck at a um, at something, you know, some area, then definitely let us know. Uh, one thing that you will um, run into is as you use subqueries and inner joins, be very careful with your um, opening and closing closing parentheses. One really nice thing about writing it in the uh, the SQL log is if you uh, accidentally delete a parenthesis or you haven't added it, you'll see a red highlighted parenthesis, and that indicates that you're missing either an opening or a closing parenthesis, and you have to fix it. So, uh, so look for those while you're typing your queries as well. Okay, so that's a just a few quick um, hints that I think will help you as you go through. Uh, working on your uh, your uh, solution to 50 fill. Hope you find the thief and uh, look forward to seeing you on Monday.